Rush to Judgment, a critique of the Warren Commission's inquiry into the murder of President by Brian Lane is a provocative and meticulously researched work that delves into the controversial investigation surrounding the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Lane's book, published in 1966, challenges the conclusions of the Warren Commission, a government-appointed body tasked with unraveling the mysteries surrounding JFK's tragic death. With a critical eye, Lane scrutinizes the Commission's methods, evidence, and final report, ultimately calling into question the official narrative and inviting readers to reconsider what they thought they knew about this pivotal moment in American history. Lane begins his critique by highlighting the immediate context of the Kennedy assassination. He underscores the emotional impact and the sense of national trauma that followed the event. This emotional turmoil, he argues, may have influenced the speed with which the Warren Commission was formed and its inclination to reach swift conclusions. Lane asserts that the Commission's haste compromised the thoroughness of the investigation. One of the central arguments in Lane's book is the issue of eyewitness testimony. He points out the inconsistencies and contradictions within eyewitness accounts of the assassination. Lane suggests that the Commission's reliance on such testimony without adequate corroboration raises doubts about the reliability of their findings. He argues that eyewitnesses might have been influenced by the shock and chaos of the moment, which could have skewed their recollections. This raises a valid concern about the reliability of using witness statements as a foundation for a historical record. Furthermore, Lane critiques the Commission's handling of physical evidence. He highlights discrepancies in the official narrative, such as the magic bullet theory, which suggests that a single bullet caused multiple injuries to Kennedy and Texas Governor John Connolly. Lane questions the plausibility of this theory and points to the lack of concrete evidence to support it. This analysis challenges the Commission's conclusions and encourages readers to approach the official account with skepticism. Lane also critiques the Commission's treatment of the alleged assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald. He questions the Commission's portrayal of Oswald as a lone gunman with a straightforward motive. Lane argues that the Commission failed to thoroughly investigate Oswald's connections, potential conspiracies, and the possibility of multiple shooters. He suggests that this narrow focus on Oswald as the lone perpetrator may have been a result of political pressure or a desire to provide closure to a grieving nation. In addition to examining the Commission's investigative methods, Lane delves into the political climate of the time. He suggests that there was a strong desire within the government to swiftly close the case and reassure the public. This desire, he argues, may have influenced the Commission's findings and their reluctance to explore alternative theories or conspiracy possibilities. Lane's critique serves as a reminder that political pressures can impact the pursuit of truth in high-profile cases. Another compelling aspect of Lane's analysis is his discussion of the media's role in shaping public perception. He argues that the media played a significant role in reinforcing the Commission's findings and discouraging dissenting voices. Lane contends that the rush to judgment in the media mirrored the Commission's own haste, creating a narrative that was difficult to challenge. In conclusion, Brian Lane's Rush to Judgment is a thought-provoking and comprehensive critique of the Warren Commission's inquiry into the assassination of President Kennedy. Through a meticulous examination of the Commission's investigative methods, handling of evidence, and political context, Lane invites readers to re-evaluate the official account of the assassination. While not all of Lane's claims may be universally accepted, his work serves as an important reminder of the complexity of historical events and the need for critical inquiry, even in the face of official narratives. In a world where the truth can be elusive, 
Rush to Judgment stands as a testament to the importance of skepticism and rigorous examination of the past.